Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your Gaming Monk for the evening. This is day 10 of the RPG A Day 2019 challenge. Today's word being focus. I've mentioned this a couple times, but I don't review a whole lot of um, universal games, and there's a very specific reason for that. With a lot of those types of games, because of the fact that they're trying to accommodate so many things at once, they end up lo they end up losing a bit of personal touch. But I don't mean to say that I want that I want a genre that I want a game for every specific genre, if you'll excuse my stuttering. It's more that I want games that are tailor made for the type of genre and playstyle that they're intended to emulate. This is the reason why I think this applies with a, with a word like focus. You have to pick a lane and stick to it. If you are trying to do high fantasy, then you need to figure out what style of high fantasy you're doing, and everything in your power should be devoted to the service of that particular goal. If you're trying to do something crunch-heavy that is supposed to focus on combat as, I won't say realistic, but believable as you can, as detailed as you can, then your design efforts should be focused on that. I think this is also the reason why D&D over the years has gone from a mainstay for me to something that has frustrated me. Mostly because of the fact that it's trying to do so many styles of fantasy at once. And this is also the reason why I've um, had a tenuous attitude with the Vancean model. Because you have... Well, look at, look at the three main inspirations for Dungeons and Dragons. Moorcock, Howard, and Tolkien. But apologies for the repetitiveness, but that's what's coming to mind when it comes to the term focus. Now, of course, if you're doing some sort of hybrid like sci like sci-fi in that series, and I'd said that just talking about the core die mechanic being D6 based tells me absolutely nothing. Well, except for the fact that you're telling me just enough to waste my damn time. Because Shadowrun and Star, and Star Wars West End both use D6 pools. They don't use them anything alike. Just telling me the die mechanic on its own or, or some sort of energy resource, that only tells me the bare minimum about a certain game. Now, sometimes this is going to be easier than others. Like, if you have a game that's using cards, like, say, Saga, which we'll get to eventually, then it's going to be a bit easier to explain how your game is different. Because there's already going to be an inbuilt assumption that an RPG is going to be using dice. And you're going against that. It's for that reason that I enjoy the three questions that John Wick had posited some time ago. I don't think he originated this, but he's who I first found out about it through. So there you go. What is your game about? How does it go about doing that? And what and what um, behaviors is your game designed to encourage and or discourage? I do feel that in order to have a clear identity, a clear focus on what you're doing, you need to answer those three questions. I think a lot of people just have the idea of doing it's D&D &D, but blank. And that's no way to do it because you're already relying on shaky foundation as it is. Plus, nobody's going to care how like or unlike D&D &D you are. They're going to care about what you're actually bringing to the table. Or at least the people who aren't jumping on the steamer band, streamer bandwagon, but that's a topic I've already delved in.